What's going on, beautiful bees? We be rising every day, you guys know. I hope you guys are doing well. We're coming into another year, so lots of changes coming, and it's, uh, I really just wanna say um, hang in there and stay strong. We can do this, we can get through this. And I just wanted to give you guys an update on uh, the last, probably uh, the last two weeks already, um, dealing with one of my cats here, Bijou, was diagnosed with a tumor on her liver. And I was pretty shocked by that because I make sure that they have really good cat food. Um, I read all the ingredients in the cat food, but uh, some, some things I was thinking about is, you know, she is an outdoor cat and this past summer she has been hunting a lot. Um, and you just don't know if the, if the animals that she's eating have environmental toxins. There is a lot of, in my area, there is um, a lot of herbicides and pesticides that they use. So it could be a number of things, genetics as well, right? which uh, if you guys have been following me, you know that uh, with my genetics, I have been able to reverse a lot of my, actually all of my health conditions by changing my diet. Um, but I do wanna put a disclaimer right now that um, I'm not a doctor, always consult with your doctor, always consult with your veterinarian before trying anything. And I just wanna share what I've been doing to help my cat and um, one thing that I know to look at is nutrition and the fuel. So I was pretty shocked to that, you know, hear that Bijou had a, a liver tumor and um, she, she wasn't eating any more of her regular cat food, uh, you know, which had chicken in it. Main ingredient was chicken. And she was losing a lot of weight and it was at an alarming rate how much weight she was losing. She wasn't eating at all. And so with um, my intuition and you know the amount of knowledge that I've come across and the books that I've read, it's I try to you know come uh, put my focus together and working with a veterinarian, in my local area, uh, I've decided to completely change her diet and put her on more fresh local food. And within a week of doing this, she first of all, I'll I'll, t I'll come to you to tell you what I'm doing. But within uh, a week of changing her diet, not giving her anything else, completely eating this every day. She is loving her food. She's eating again, putting on weight, and her energies come back. Uh, she would normally just sit there, and you could tell she was in pain. Uh, and you know, she wasn't playful, wasn't moving. She would often just sit there in a in a, a certain position, and you could tell that she was in a lot of pain. So, uh, you, my animal lovers out there, I know you got a lot of you guys are. Uh, it's very difficult to watch someone suffering, uh, animal or human. And so I, uh, working with a veterinarian, uh, and this veterinarian was really awesome because they gave you, they knew about, you know, the conventional way, which is surgery, chemo for these animals. And then there's the natural way of looking at herbs and, uh, you know, what I'm, what I'm already into. So obviously I'm going to try that because it's worked on me. I've changed uh, my diet and I've seen that food is really medicine. So with cats, cats are carnivores. So I had to look into a high quality protein uh, that was going to be also easy for the cat to digest. Uh, and um, one thing that came to me was uh, the local pickerel in my area. We got uh, lots of lakes up here in Canada. And so that's just what naturally came to me is, is put this cat on local fish. And so um, 
what I did was I got some pickerel cheeks. And the reason I chose the pickerel cheeks is there's no bones in here. Uh, and so what I've been doing, and the cat loves this, you guys, is I've been making like a, a soup, like a stew, and I boil the, the cheeks with some organic peas, uh, some sweet potato, and some broccoli. Okay, now with cats, uh, because they are carnivores with the veggies, uh, you want to make sure that uh, you do your, you know, I'm not telling you what to do, always consult with your vet, but from uh, researching, uh, the carnivores can eat some peas and broccoli and some sweet potato, um, even some pumpkin, uh, but uh, it has to be steamed or cooked uh, for them to be able to digest. I tried giving the cat different types of protein, uh, but the fish is what it's really enjoying, the local f fish. And I tried giving it egg. It didn't want egg. Um, but this, this local fish is, um, is suiting her well and she is so far doing really good. So I thought I'd give you an update on what I'm doing. Oh, I'm also working with the veterinarian and we have her on CBD oil uh, for pain. So I give her that, uh, it's, ver it's got little to none THC because the, you gotta watch with the animals with that. And then um, I've also been doing like a bone broth for her, uh, a fish broth. She really, really loves the fish broth. And in terms of herbs, uh, for liver, it's burdock for uh, that, that uh, I've also been including in her, in her diet. So, and this is just one meal that I make. This, this is just like a start. Uh, I know that uh, they need a, other nutrition as well, but we're just starting with this and keeping it kind of simple for her digestion. And, and so far she is doing good and her energy is back and she's eating. So that's, uh, that's only a week of changing her diet. It's just incredible. Um, I'll keep you guys updated for sure. Oh yeah, a big reason why I chose a fish is the omega-3s, which are anti-inflammatory. Now I think the reason why she wasn't eating her regular food, which was chicken, is because of the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. Omega-3s are anti-inflammatory. And I can see that this is actually working with the cat, particularly the local fish. Uh, so it, you know, it's not, it's not farm fish, it's, it's uh, you know, swimming, it's outdoors, getting vitamin D, um, very essential for, for the cats. So yeah. That's why I chose the fish with the omega-3s, anti-inflammatory, and uh, the, the cat can really absorb the, the nutrients with the fish. So we'll keep you guys updated. She's loving it, and um, we'll, see. we'll see how it goes. So I hope you guys are doing well, and I wish you all the best in uh, this coming year. Uh, there's been a lot of challenges for us, but I think we can always learn something from whatever it is that we're going through. And so just remember to keep eating healthy, whole, local foods. Uh, take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, your animals. Uh, get out in nature, breathe some fresh oxygen, try not to stress out. And I find nature, going for a hike, going for a walk can really help with that. And we just gotta take care of each other. When we do that, we'll be rising.